So uh, this is my bug proof suit, which I wear when I'm sleeping. I don't wear it during the day, but when I'm sleeping, put on the bug proof suit. So any ants or anything crawling on you doesn't wake you up, you know, no mosquitoes. So first of all, you start with uh, coveralls. These are just coveralls. They just totally, you know, that's half the battle right there. And then I, uh, I'll tuck, uh, put on a long sock and tuck, tuck. The key thing is to tuck your pants into the sock. Because if you just put the sock on, you'll still have a hole right here, right? Where the, something can crawl in. So you want to do like that and tuck it in so that it's sealed. Now, uh, ideally, you would have some longer gloves, you know, that would like come up to here or something. Uh, but, you know, I haven't really found it necessary personally this trip. But, uh, yeah, so you tuck your sleeve in, and uh, so you're all covered. Bugs can't get in because it's, you know, ideally you'd have a, a longer, sort of tighter glove that would come up to here or something, but you get the idea. And then I have a little mosquito head net. It's actually made for wearing over your head. It's even got this little yarmulke top to it. And, uh,. You know, just button up here if you want. It's a little button there. And you can button this if you want. Get them, uh, get the collar up. And, uh, look like a beekeeper. I mean, that's, that's, a, hell, a beekeeper is a bug-proof suit, isn't it? And, uh, so it has sort of this elasticy kind of band on it. Just stick your collar up in it. Make sure the collar's up in there really good and all. You know? And, uh... There you go. So now bugs can't come in here. I'm all sealed in. Now, you know, anything can crawl on my face, I won't even notice it, really. Imagine walking through the street wearing that. <laughs> Maybe with this coronavirus, it might actually look normal. Just chill, walking in the mall. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be funny. All right, yeah, looks, looks kind of weird, I guess, but... Hell, you could walk through the woods if you wanted to. It's kind of... It's not good for your eyesight a little bit. It, 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 I can see fine, but it sort of kind of adds a veal, you know, a veil, veal, veil. But uh, yeah, you, you especially want to make sure your collar, you know, is all up in it. You don't want there to be like 
hole or something, something might crawl in. So just stick the collar up in there. Make sure the yarmulke is in the right spot. And uh, there you go. Okay, this is my beekeeper slash bug proof setup suit. This is the bug proof suit. Um, so I'm totally sealed, you know, any ants can crawl on me. Good to go. And it's comfortable too, it's like pajamas, you know. Totally comfortable, I can go to sleep. And uh, there you go, totally covered, no holes. Now some overalls do have a hole right here. What you can do is, uh, which I've done on a, another pair, I haven't done on these because I haven't found it necessary because of something that I'm about to show also. But So you can take just a piece of duct tape, which I've done, just put it over that hole, seal that hole if you need to, and then you're totally sealed. Like there's no entrance that's the key you don't want there to be any hole or some ants could crawl in or something you know so yeah pretty i don't wear this during the daytime but at night when i'm sleeping pretty much always dressed like this most of the time uh when i'm sleeping out in the woods just because i don't want to be woken up by whatever otherwise i've done it before when you don't wear this stuff man keep you can keep getting woken up by like ants or spiders crawling on you and stuff mosquitoes you put this stuff on you sleep you sleep uh, nice and uh, long what uh, you sleep really good uh, yeah you don't get woke up in the night next thing you know it's morning time like the sun's up you're like wow that's some good sleep but you don't wear this you might get your ass kicked by some bugs And here is another piece of the puzzle, which is a hammock. I, uh, I love sleeping in a hammock uh, in the warm weather, not in the, in the winter time I don't. I just sleep on the ground over like a foam pad thing. But in the summertime, get up in this thing and uh, It's good because, uh, you know, a lot less bugs obviously are going to get up here. Now, some bugs can still get in, you know, but it'll be a lot less than being on the ground. And uh, so that just compounds your bug proof factor. And uh, it's pretty comfortable too, you know, you don't have to worry about the, the ground being sort of rocky or uneven or slanted, you know, it's pretty comfortable. And uh, so I'm a big fan of hammock. You can't do it in the winter time because you feel that cold underneath. Even if it's just a little bit cold, you'll sort of feel it underneath. Now you can get, uh, they sell like hammock insulators, which is basically just a sleeping bag. And you put it under the hammock. But, so you could do that in the winter time if you wanted to, but I haven't done that. But uh, honestly, the main reason I sleep in this hammock and the warm weather is uh, snakes, you know. I've heard multiple stories of venomous snakes slithering up, crawling into your sleeping bag, and you know, trying to sleep next to you when you're, if you sleep on the ground. Now up in here, this is snake proof right here. You know, no snakes around here. Now, some places do have snakes in the trees, but even then, you're still going to have a less likelihood, right? Uh, and uh, good to go. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. This is uh, pretty comfortable. So yeah, that's the bug-proof situation. Snake-proof. That's the. 
I'm paranoid about snakes uh, slithering up in, up in with me in the sleeping bag. There are many stories of that happening to people, so I'm not crazy, or at least not for that reason. So, uh, yeah, bug proof suit, give that a try. And uh, I recommend the hammock. And uh, good luck to you. Hope you enjoyed my video. Subscribe for more of my videos, obviously.